Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. Today's word for the day is for the person who today feels hopeless, scared, and frightened. It's for the person who feels like their life is over. The word for the day is for the broken, the disappointed, the person at the end of their rope, the person who has doubts that they will ever be rescued, the person who has stopped hoping for anything good because they've experienced so much bad. Barabbas was guilty. He had taken the life of somebody else. He deserved to be punished by death. He stood in front of the crowd with Pilate. He expected to die a slow and agonizing death on the cross. He could not have expected what was going to happen next. Pilate offered a deal to the crowd of Jewish people. Who do you want to set free? Jesus, the great miracle worker, uh, the one who healed the sick, the one who raised the dead back to life, walked on water, calmed the storm, and brought genuine life change to those around them? Or Barabbas, the one who had murdered and taken life? Now, I, I'm sure he thought the choice was simple. One who takes life or one who gave life? Of course the religious crowd would choose to set Jesus free, right? The choice that was made by that crowd that day did not make sense. The crowd chose to set the murderer free and to crucify an innocent man. Jesus could have been freed, but instead sinners demanded he be condemned to die. And so he did. Jesus exchanged his life for Barabbas. Barabbas was set free and Jesus was murdered. I hope you understand that Jesus also died in yours and my place too. The Bible tells us that because of, uh, that we, because we choose to sin, we deserve death and eternal separation from God. And instead, Jesus paid the penalty for us. He set us free. He died in our place. He accepted our punishment just like he did with Barabbas. You and I are like Barabbas. In fact, we are Barabbas. My hope is that you live your life as a freed follower of Jesus with a thankful heart that we will never be condemned for our sins because Jesus was. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it or leave a comment. God bless.